Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. I am Fahad from the modprovided.com and today I am back with another amazing custom home for our Android devices and this one is the Project Elixir 3.3 which is based on the Android 13 and its security patch is also all the way latest 5 November 2022 as you guys can check the Elixir version is 3.3 .3, and you can check the other information like kernel uh, version and uh, SE Linux status which is the enforcing so I am using it on my Redmi Note 11 by the way this is oh, available for a bunch of Xiaomi Redmi and Poco devices the list is here so in this video I will be showing you if this ROM is stable for your daily usage and uh, I will also show you a full review of this ROM and I will also show you how you can install it on your Android device so without any further ado let's get started so first of all let's start uh, from the stability of this ROM, this ROM is completely stable. I have not uh, noticed any issue or lag in this ROM. The only thing which is not working is Wu Wi-Fi. I don't know why it is not working. So uh, this is not Wu Wi-Fi is not available in my country, so I can't show you. So Wi-Fi is working. Bluetooth is also working, as you can see here. Uh, now it will show you the available Bluetooth devices. Uh, give it a while. So. Uh, the mobile data is also working right here as you can see here uh, you can check the LT is working you can also use the hotspot as well everything is just working fine without any issues so as you can see here the devices are available to be collected with the uh, Bluetooth sorry so there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM everything is just working fine except the Wu Wi-Fi and other than that everything is just working fine as you can see here the app opening speed is also pretty much stable uh, this is a ROM which is uh, completely stable for daily usage and yes you can use it as your daily driver. So let's start with the, its home screen. So I just customized this home screen by myself. I just, uh, you just have to press and hold the uh, uh, empty space on the home screen and then you will get the option of wall, uh, wallpaper and style and from here you can change the wallpaper from this. Uh, by the way, this is the Google wallpaper application and by default we get this wallpaper pre-installed. So from here you can select any wallpaper you like and from here you can also change the uh, wallpaper colors. You can also get the basic colors. You can enable or disable the dark theme and you can also enable the themed icons. You can change the upgrade like uh, other ROMs and as you can see here, themed icons looks pretty much beautiful on this wallpaper. By the way, you can also change the wallpaper to any of these. Uh, because uh, the themed icons will uh, match the color of wall wallpaper so let's try uh, this one and have a look how it will look like on our screen so it is good to go as you can see here this wallpaper is looking beautiful and uh, after it here we have widgets option from this option you can add a lot of widgets to the home screen and make it looks pretty much beautiful like i have added three widgets on it you can simply go to the widgets and add any widget you want to use battery chrome clock uh, a lot of widgets are available and at the end here we have home screen and here we have some settings like at a glance and notification dots and some other options and from the left you can get the google feed so in the camera uh, when i installed uh, the project laser rom on my redmi note 11 no camera application was installed on this and maybe uh, if you install it on your android device uh, maybe it will be uh, installed or not i don't know but you can also download the google camera from the play store just search for the gcam if it is not present in your rom then you can simply download it right from here so as you can see here the google camera is working you can switch to video and photo and if you want uh, the more options like portrait mode night mode and all other uh, advanced modes then you can search for the uh, gcam mode on the google so that will be working and you can also search on the U uh, google play store for the open camera and this camera application is really amazing you can simply install it and run it on your android device so if we talk about the applications, we don't get a lot of junky applications pre-installed. Here we have only few needed applications pre-installed right here, as you can see here. So 
the uh, icons of this ROM is also latest from the Google as you can see here so now let's dig into the settings before going into the settings let's have a look on the uh, quick settings from here we get the uh, date time then we have connectivity options battery then we have no bright uh, slider right here you can enable the auto mode right from here and here we have some shortcuts you can edit it out and from the bottom here we have user icon setting option and power option right here let's get back to the settings first of all here we have a new phone style settings right here then you can uh, search out any setting right from here this is the search option then we have user profile then we have connectivity options here we have brightness in the brightness here we have brightness level adaptive brightness you can also use the extra dim if you are using your uh, mobile in really dark or at the night then we have a uh, lock screen and screen timeout option from here you can enable or disable the dark theme which is looking beautiful on this AMOLED display then you can adjust the screen and uh, uh, text size so from here you can change the text font size and from here you can change the display size you can also make the text bold and high contrast right from here then we have wallpaper zoom effect and let me increase the brightness a little bit so then we have night light which is working fine you can change its intensity too so after it here we have color profiles i'm going to use the boosted one then we have smallest widget option and here we have other display settings like tap to wake app refresh and we don't have uh, the option to enable the smooth display or we cannot set the maximum refresh rate or minimum refresh rate by the way this display is supported by 90 hertz refresh rate on my redmi note 11 but i don't have any option in this rom to switch to the 90 hertz or 60 hertz so that's a uh, uh, negative point of this rom so after it uh, after the display here we have essence i don't know if i am uh, pronouncing it correct e double -S, s e n c e so here we have the available customization first of all you can uh, read about them uh, the project laser team then you can donate them right from here then we have themes option from here you can use any custom theme from the black and you can also use the vivid let's try this vivid theme and uh, nothing changed i don't know so then you can change the font style right from here so a lot of font styles are available to be selected right from here you can change the icon pack then we have the signal icon style wi-fi icon style is also available in this room so then we have lock screen settings here we had tap to sleep and tap to wake option which is working completely fine then we have ripple effect media cover art and uh, you can also hide the status bar on the lock screen then we have status bar settings from here you can double tap status bar uh, to sleep and you can also enable the 4g icon instead of lte uh, wi-fi standard icon you can also get into the icon manager then we have the network indicators you can enable and set its position then we have the set clock and date position so after it here we have battery style you can change the battery style right from here you can visible the brightness percentage battery percentage sorry then we have battery charging bolt color default or yellow so it will restart the ui so after it here we have quick settings then we have gestures from the gesture here we have swipe three fingers to screenshot and it is working completely fine then we have quickly open camera just uh, double press the power button and it will simply open the camera right from here so then we have system navigation bar one-handed mode which is also working completely fine you can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand then we have press and hold power button and a touch screen gestures and in the misc here we have ignore window square uh, flags and then we have advanced restart uh, option from here you just have click on it click on advance and here we have more options like you can boot into the recovery directly from the, your uh, system to boot into the bootloader and system ui so this one is also plus point here we have in call vibrations hide icons to s of essence 
uh, you can also unlock the higher fps in gaming so you can consider this room as a gaming room so here we also have a gaming space so you can add any game to the library so you can simply unlock the higher fps in games for smoother experience this was the uh, customizations of this room now here we have the wallpaper option then we have battery the battery backup of the room is also really great from here you can check the battery usage battery saver battery manager by the way we also have the extreme battery saver right here then you can also enable the battery percentage you can also note the battery temperature then we have storage notification sound and vibrations and in the sound and vibrations we don't have any sound enhancing uh, technology in this room and uh, we don't have this dolby atmos pre-installed in this room then we have apps accounts and password security now in the security all security options are working uh, so as you can see here uh, all the on screen locks are working pretty much and here we also have the option to use the face unlock and fingerprint at single time as you can see here you can set up the simply pin or pattern and face unlock and fingerprint every security option is working pretty much good and this one is also a secure room so after it here we have privacy location accessibility security uh, safety and emergency detail well-being google system in the system we have languages and input gesture uh, in the gesture here we have swipe to screenshot quickly open camera system navigation bar one-handed mode press and hold power button playback control by using the uh, volume buttons then we have double tap uh, to check the screen it is pretty much looks like the always on display but it is not always on display and then we have date and time backup rules multiple users reset options and elixir updates and uh, yes you will get the OTA OTA updates using this feature because this one is the official uh, ROM from the project elixir and whenever the update will come you can download it simply right from here so at the end here we have about phone section from the about phone you can check your about uh, device name you can check your android version build number and you can check the device status right from here here we have uptime and legal informations and from the about phone section from here you can check the uh, if it is the official officially supported device as you can see here your device is officially supported and the maintainer is smoky for the android 13 oh sorry redmi note 11 and its android version is android 13 as you can see here it really feels cool to have the android 13 on our android devices and the security patch is also 5 november 2022 and the elixir version is 3.3 and uh, you can check the other information as well uh, this rom is completely stable and it can be used as your daily driver so no need to be worried about anything everything is just working fine everything is just simple and smooth and uh, a lot of things are working without having any issues and yes you can do the gaming on it and if you want to use it uh, as your daily driver or you want to have a try on it and you want to install it on your android device then you can simply download the rom from the link in the description and the instructions are also available from uh, the link that is available in the description so go and uh, read the instructions carefully so after reading the instructions you will be able to install this rom on your android device without having any issue so this was the video for the project elixir 3.3 android device for our redmi and uh, xiaomi and poco phones so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you have any question or queries about this rom you can uh, leave a comment below and you can also join us on the telegram the telegram group and channel link is in the description keep supporting thanks for watching peace don't forget to subscribe my channel